devotion this first day. A quote that I like to say this morning, say the heart that gives thanks is a happy one. For we cannot feel thankful and unhappy at the same time. Thanksgiving. Our devotion reading this morning is from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. And it titles, How to Make, How to Be Thankful in Everything. Not just some, but in everything. So it's a task for us. Let's read. I want to read from the verse 20 of our chapter, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20 and verse 21. It says, Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. See, sometimes it's very hard to give thanks. It's very easy when we are receiving things. But it's hard when we, when we in, we are hurting or in need of something. But the key is the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, we can do all things. So Christ has strengthened us. See, when we look at um, this life we're at, we, everything that comes, like sometimes it's like a nice wind blowing. And when it's stronger, like a storm, it's very hard to thanks, very hard to give thanks. But I challenge you this morning, we can do it in Christ Jesus. If we have Jesus in us, we can do all things. So I challenge you, every all day today, you cannot go out and whoever you can say thanks. And because we especially we gotta thank God for what He had called us, what He has done, and His plan and purpose in our lives. So as we walk daily by daily, we thank our neighbors or everybody that we go through and learn it more with the Holy Spirit in us. Let's do it as our lifestyles and we can do it as, as teaching others who are watching us because we are role model. We are the one, uh, uh, God's word, walking in, 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 in every situation in this, uh, wherever we are. So try to thank everybody. If you say thanks and submitting to one another in the fear of God. See, this fear of God is you knowing God and you thank God when you wake up in the morning and feel fresh. Thank God for the breath that we breathe. And you're going to go today and with God in us, we can do all things. Let's do it as a, a habit. Let's do it as a lifestyle. Let's everybody to see that we have the joy of the Lord in us. For God is so good and He is with us all in everywhere. In Jesus name. Amen. And thank you for listening. Thank you for joining in. In Jesus name. Amen. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. The story of how Paul came to the city of Ephesus is really interesting. You can go read about it in Acts chapter 19. Ephesus was a huge city. It was the epicenter of worship for most of the Greek and Roman gods. And for over two years, Paul had a really effective missionary presence there, and lots of people became followers of Jesus. So you have a wife who follows Jesus. She is called to respect and to allow her husband to become responsible for her. And the husband is called to love his wife and to use his responsibility to lay 
laid down his selfish agenda and to prioritize his wife's well-being above his own. And Paul says it's this kind of marriage that's actually reenacting the gospel story. The husband's actions mimic Jesus and his love and his self-sacrifice. The wife's actions mimic the church, which allows Jesus to love her and to make her new. Paul then applies the same idea to children and parents as well as slaves and masters. <laughs>